Let me get this one turned on. There, yeah, we got them both going. Good morning, this is Craig Howard, pastor of the Break Church of the Brethren, and I'm doing my video and audio recordings all at the same time. The audio, audio recordings go to WLD, the video recordings get put up on Facebook that I do every day. <clears throat> anyway, thank you for the opportunity to be here with you this morning and taking time to share this time with me. Um, as I was growing up, I used to hear a lot about a guy by the name of David Wilkerson. David Wilkerson is the founder of Teen Challenge, and uh, he wrote the book The Cross and the Switchblade, which was turned into a movie in the 70s. It was a powerful Christian film, um, and it's still around. You can still get copies of it today, but uh, I think Pat Boone played David Wilkerson in it. But it tells about how he went through this time of discontentment in his life where he just didn't feel settled like you know he was trying he was a pastor of a church and he was trying to move forward like God wanted him to but he decided he was going to give up that two hours of television watching time before he went to bed and and just spend that time in prayer and at first it was really difficult for him he really struggled with it and you know he would try to pray and it would just you know just be he had never prayed for two hours at a time before and he struggled with it. But as time went on, he gradually began to come be, feel more and more uh, in tune with God and, and more and more receptive to what God was trying to teach him. One day he was sitting at his desk as he was praying and he opened his eyes and there was a Time magazine in front of him. And he opened it up and it told the story about these six boys in New York City that were going to be going on trial for crimes that they had committed. I can't remember, but they were teenage boys. And uh, Nikki Cruz was one of them. And uh, so uh, these were gang members. They were, they were New York City gang members. And uh, he decided, he just felt God was telling them that he needed to go, go to New York City and do what he could to help these young men. And so he answered God's call. He packed up his old car and he headed to New York City. He had to sleep in the car. He didn't know where to find them, what to do. But and, and he went through all sorts of trials and tribulations that would take way too long for me to explain or for me to tell you about. But in the end, he ended up breaking through and having a ministry to the gang members of New York City where he founded Teen Challenge that has literally helped tens of thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands or more uh, teenagers over the years with drug addiction and other types of addiction and help them to find Christ and have a relationship with God and, and turn their lives around. But it all started because in his discontent, he decided that he was going to spend more time with God. You know, the Bible says over in Ephesians chapter um, 1, verses 16 and 17, Paul is writing the church at Ephesus, and he makes this statement. He says, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight that you might grow in your knowledge of God. And Paul was saying, I pray for you all the time. I pray for you constantly. We wonder why Paul was used so mightily, so powerfully to transform the church, uh, to, to establish the church, to write half of the New Testament. I mean, Paul was, was used by God in amazing ways, but it started by his dedication to prayer. It started by his dedication to seeking God in his life. And I wonder sometimes if we don't fall short in that area. I know I struggle with that at times. I know I need to spend more time, and there's times where I really get committed, and I say, okay, Lord, I'm going to spend that time with you in prayer. Other times I get so busy, I let it drop, and I always pay for that. I always, I always feel that discontent when I do that. Well, my challenge to you this morning is make time for prayer. See how God will use it. Let's pray quickly this morning. Father, thank you for this time. Thank you for the challenge of that was given to us through the life of David Wilkerson. And Father, help us to use that to remember the importance of prayer. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. This is Craig Howard, pastor of the Break Church of the Brethren. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day today. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.